gentlemen, welcome to a capsule selection. Today, fellas, I got a vibe for you. I got a great, great list out here for you guys. This is one that I want to talk about when I'm talking about masculinity, a masterclass in masculinity. These fragrances very much so convey a sense of power, a prowess of virility, and something that we ultimately need in our collection and in our wardrobes. So when it comes to us, it's having large wardrobes and we're com confident that we have uh, staples in our collection this is one to help you build on that actual strength and virility of a fragrance profile so these basically they are ones that exude strength confidence and undeniable virility point blank period non full stop these scents are designed to basically boost your presence, your ultimate elevation of signature style, and to captivate and become undeniably alluring to women. They don't always want to smell gourmands on us. They don't always want to smell highly elevated or even feminine unisex lady. They want something that conveys a sense of power because we know there's nothing more attractive than a man who carries himself with confidence and smells incredible. So pull up your seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. And gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuances of scent, cigars, and wines. I am your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. Today, we are going to start exploring a lineup of fragrances that radiate masculine strength. This is a master class on masculinity. These scents are bold, these scents are commanding, and they are unapologetically powerful and full of strength. These fragrances do not do anything but go beyond the sense of smelling good. They embody confidence, virility, and the aura of dominance that leaves a lasting impression on everyone who wears these particular scents. Women love them. Your colleagues will enjoy them. These will be fragrances that go down to your collection as great wardrobe building scents. From smoky and rugged to like refined and luxurious, each one of these has a scent that showcases a unique faucet of masculinity. Whether you were just stepping into a boardroom, making an unforgettable impression on a woman, or simply just looking for a fragrance that com complements your inner strength, your inner most power. These are picks from my particular wardrobe and catalog of fragrances in my collection that I think are perfect for men who want and know how to bring the perfect masculinity to the table. Dive into this list. We're going to get deep. We're going to get depthful. The character of these, the power of these, the fragrance that come off of these are fantastic. First, we're going to start out one of my favorite fragrances and that is the fragrance from the house of Morosk and that is Al Andalus. So ladies and gentlemen, Al Andalus is just one of those fragrances that just goes off it has the great most epitome of opulence, heritage, strength, and it combines what basically is a fragrance that captures the essence of a regal man. Just when you spray this scent on, the first thing that happens, it opens up with a fiery, fiery burst of saffron, black pepper, sparkling, it has a bold intensity to the notes that come off the first opening. The tone is just set by the opening. It's balsamic, it's sweet, it's warm, it's peppery. The heart has a rose and oud combination that brings a smoky richness of exotic warmth. It evokes the air of a timeless majesty, man. This one here is the name is apropos for it. It's a really elegant masculine scent because of the use of balsamic woods, balsamic resins, labdanum, which is leathery. The dry down is leather and ambergris, which adds a layer of rugged sophistication. It's beautiful scent. This one that makes it perfect for a man who commands respect. One for a man who knows where he's going. This one here, Alan Dulles, is a fragrance that makes a statement of power and presence. I love the way this goes off. I've been telling you guys about this scent for about three years now. It's one of those fragrances that has some of the components. Just imagine a Ventus without the pineapple. Just something very, very smooth, very peppery, very inviting, very alluring, but also having that stoic power of a masculine man. That's exactly what you get from this one. Just a phenomenal wearing scent. It is one of the best projectors. Great sillage comes from this, and Alan Dulles from Morosk is one of my top 10 favorites when it comes to viril virility and strength and power in a fragrance. So this is going to be first on the list to introduce you guys to this once again. Morosk, Alan Dulles, a beautiful scent that I think all you guys should get your nose on. It's a powerful, powerful scent, fellas, I'm telling you. Great scent for a masculine master class. 
Next up, gentlemen, one of the best houses when it comes to masculine fragrances, especially from the designer realm, is Chanel. Chanel has produced a scent called Platinum Egoist. This is nothing new to the market, but it is a timeless classic that exudes effortless elegance and understated strength. You need this in your collection if that's what you want to portray as a gentleman. Platinum Eagle S opens with a very crisp freshness of lavender and rosemary that creates an invigorating yet strengthful energy. It speaks of confidence and resilience, and that's exactly what you want in a master class masculine fragrance. It's just one that just speaks to the people. The heart is made of sage and geranium, which introduces a touch of elegance and refinement. So you want something light, you want something less stoic than the Alan Dulles previously mentioned. You want a scent like Eagle is. While the cedar in this one and the vetiver base grounds this fragrance into an earthy strength, it's ultimately one of the best aromatic projecting fragrances on the market. It is perfect for the modern man who leads with quiet confidence and isn't afraid to embrace simplicity with sophistication in his fragrance. Platinum Egoist is one of those scents that just goes off so well. Like I stated, Chanel does not play when it comes to their masculine scents. I love this one. I love Antaeus. I love the Chanel Allure line. When it comes to masculine strength and virility, you want Platinum Eagle East in your collection. One of the very best geranium, lavender, clary sage. A little bit of neroli is in the opening. A lot of cedar wood is in this one. It plays a lot with oak moss as well. Very, very strengthful, powerful fragrance that we all should have in our collection to draw on when we need something with our gray pinstripe, our gray chalk stripe, our wool suits, our everything you want to wear in the realm when you're going out to a business meeting and you can dress this one down with just a pair of nice trousers and a button up and it goes off perfectly well and this one to me is a four season scent which makes it even better once again platinum eagle east from the house of chanel ladies and gentlemen next up on the list is ganymede by the house of antoine barwar one scent that i had one of the profiles that i picked up was not as truly impressed as many people were Getting it into my collection for a second time, getting a new bottle in, understanding what this fragrance is, ultimately has become one of my go-to fragrances when I want to have the masculine appeal, masculine virility, and strength and power presentation. Ganymede, to me, is a very revolutionary style of fragrances that challenges traditional notions of masculinity because it embraces strength and uniqueness with this mineral accord and leather facets that create a futuristic blend that is basically a profile of bold sophistication and intrigue. To me, the scent is just beautiful when it goes on skin into the 30 minute mark. Once the minerality calms down on my skin, I can get past that and know that this is going to be one of those scents that really bring forth an essence that I want on my skin. As I stated, the opening is saffron and mandarin that brings this sharp brightness, while the violet and the suede in the heart of this one create this very smooth and compelling depth. One thing about Ganymede is that it's going to draw in the women around you. So that's one thing about this one. When you want to wear something that has a nightcap feel to it, or also leaning itself toward that masculine virility, you want the mineral undertone that comes from Ganymede. It adds that mysterious edge. It makes something that's perfect choice for a man who thrives on breaking boundaries and wants to rewrite the rules of strength and masculinity in a fragrance. That is what encapsulates the scent of Ganymede and that is what I truly love about it. The Aki Gollywood, the Saffron, the Osmanthus, the Oak, uh, not the Oak, but the Oak Moss, the slight way that they use the violet to come across as the leathery component along with that mandarin opening you can't go wrong when it comes to ganymede from mark and tan Barwar, a great essence of masculine strength and virility great great profile to put into your collection guys ladies and gentlemen one of the most slept on fragrances from the house of cry christian the immortal fragrance from the rocco 8 collection when it comes to this private blend this fragrance is one of the most slept on and misunderstood fragrances in my collection i don't bring it out that often to talk about it but i do want to bring it out in this video because what it portrays for me is a tribute and a legacy of enduring power and that's what i want in a masculine leaning list so for me the thing that this particular fragrance does with its smoky incense and amber it creates this depth resonous depthful resonous base and for me that is what feels of timeless power and majesty it has this papyrus note that goes along with this opening of immortelle that is slightly hay like very sweet almost like this use of hay and honey in the opening along with the bright bright bergamot and vetiver with that papyrus smokiness 
a very, very beautiful masculine scent that very much so portrays exactly what this list embodies. The Immortelle flower, known for the everlasting quality that it has, it adds a golden warmth, as I stated, while the leather and the spice blend in this one lend a light of virility and sophistication that you want from a fragrance with this potential. This fragrance is one that for the man who values a traditional style of scent while still wants to pull from um, the kinds of fragrances that are becoming modern and non-traditional. To me, this one is a fragrance that will stand the test of time because it has a simplicity while also having a great complexity as it unfurls on the skin. The Immortel is not just a fragrance, it is an experience that commands elegance and attention among the wearer. So for me, wearing this one, I love the way that the Immortel mixes with a papyrus and vetiver while being veiled with the bergamot accord in this one or bergamot note and it is one that is spectacular and it's slept on like i stated so if you're looking for a fragrance like you know how they do blonde amber you know how they do amber wood you know all about the the phenomenal blends that clive christian has get your nose on immortelle i don't think you're going to be disappointed by the way that this one come off if you're truly looking for a structured fragrance that comes off smoky warm cozy bright in with its veiling bergamot but at the end of the day it conveys a lot of strength and power immortal is the one for you guys get your nose on it house of clive christian immortal eight rocco ladies and gentlemen next up on this list one of the houses that you don't hear much about in fragcom one that you won't hear much about from me but boy do i wear this particular brand of fragrances javoy incident diplomatique earthy spicy bold that's exactly what this fragrance is that is exactly what the hallmark of it is incident diplomatique is a scent of a man who moves with purpose and commands 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 attention if you are one of those men this is the effortless scent for you haitian vetiver nutmeg dominate the opening beautiful scent that unfurls with a it just creates this warmth very very instantaneously creates its warmth with a slightly smoky profile that's unapologetically masculine non full stop just masculine everything about this tales of virility masculinity and strength the patchouli base in this one is the thing that adds the dark rich depthness to this depthfulness to this one making it one of the very best from the house of javoy it's one that is a very daring yet grounding fragrance that you need in your collection if you're looking for fragrances to be very woody, very creamy woody, but also having this stoic essence of depthful complexity that you want when you're trying to complete out 40 and up, 40, 35 and up, I'll say. This is the scent for you. When you're looking ultimately to convey a message of being a gentleman while having a warm feel around you, fall time, Javoy incident diplomatique comes out every single time it's a scent that is just for the man who thrives in intriguing power leaving an unforgettable impression and one who ultimately wants to be attractive and attracted to the women around him incident diplomatique it's one i'm telling you fellas i really really enjoy this, this is my second bottle of this one i got put up on this one by the perfume guy out in san francisco years ago and i've been wearing it ever since man this it's a beautiful scent if you want patchouli beautiful patchouli for men nothing cakey it's very dark sweet enveloping masculine you want this on your skin fellas incident diplomatique by the house of javoy next up ladies and gentlemen one of my personal favorite fragrances from the house of zerzhov this is luxor luxor i bring out to you guys for the third straight fall when it comes to power play fragrances this is a fragrance that basically transports you to the heart of Egypt, but gives you a sense of modern masculinity. It's a luxurious masterpiece that just reigns supreme in my collection. It opens with a very beautiful cinnamon, cinnamon and cardamom that delivers an intense spicy opening, creating a very beautiful sense of warmth and power. This one is the one for you guys who want the mystery and intrigue to prevail amongst most of these fragrances. The heart of oud and cedarwood introduces this smoky, smoky, exotic undertone while the leather base in this one creates the anchor of a fragrance that is bold and masculine. It's a commanding fragrance for masculinity, virility, just what this list embodies. The hallmark of this one though is that very resinous mid with some tobacco essence to it. 
it's one for the guy who appreciates strength and elegance and isn't afraid to show his authority in the workplace or in any environment that he moves in. This is the one for the boss. This is the one for the leader. This is Luxor. This is the one that truly calls to a masculine gentleman who carries himself with the prowess of power. Beautiful scent, man. Beautiful scent. Beautiful, beautiful scent, man. Smoky, sweet, woody, resinous, tobacco like. Ooh, the ooh this is just that powerful funk that you want on your skin to be just mysterious, but non off putting. It's just the sexy, sexy oud inside of this one. One that you got to get your nose on. I believe it's Thai and Cambodian oud inside of this one. Gorgeous fragrance, man. Get your nose on Luxor by the house of Zerzhov. Gentlemen, next up, as we continue to careen through this particular list, one of my favorite fragrances from the House of Masculine, um, or Mason Francis Kirk John, is the Masculine Pluriel fragrance. Masculine Pluriel was actually the second or third fragrance that I picked up from this house. Many that I've continued to pick up since then, but this one, Masculine Pluriel, is just a masterclass in understated elegance and masculinity. This one is what it is, basically a calling card of very rich lavender, vetiver, cedar wood, and leather. It opens with a refined, refined note of lavender that you cannot be anything other than compelled to be drawn in by. It's not super aromatic. It's just very sweet, cozy like Provencal lavender, which is not super aromatic, not super heady, but very smooth, very rugged, rough, and refined when it comes to the way that lavender is used in this componentry. Everything about this scent is offering a sense of clean, classic elegance while having some depth to it. The heart of this one is patchouli and cedar wood that create a warm and woody depth while the leather base adds a sensual touch to this one. So it one that goes off very well in the allure factor as well. This one here, this is one of the best ones this when it comes to versatility because the versatility of this fragrance is the way it transitions seamlessly from day to night which is making it one of the more perfect for a man who values quiet confidence and a timeless sophistication. At this, so this one, at the end of the day, this one is the one that creates a subtle strength of power encapsulated in a bottle. Lavender, cedar, leather, patchouli, and vetiver is what the hallmark to this one is. And I think that you all will be pleased when you smell this one in the air and have it on your skin. Once again, top-notch masculine fragrance from the house of Mason Francis Kirkjohn, and this is Masculine Pluriel. Gentlemen, next up on the list, man, I got a banger here for you guys. To me, I don't think it's slept on. I wouldn't say it's slept on. It's a DNA that we know and love. But this one here is one that dials up the bold and unapologetic intensity on the DNA of Sauvage. Sauvage Elixir by the House of Dior is one of those fragrances that just calls to me every single fall since I purchased it a couple years back. This one here is built on nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, which create a spicy, attention-grabbing opening. While the lavender, this one in the heart, just adds a smooth sophistication that is beautiful when it conveys or conveys the message toward going toward the base of this one, which is a base of Haitian vetiver and licorice, which creates an earthy, dark foundation that basically exudes power and virility. I love the way this one comes off, man. This one here. It's a scent. I'm a fan of the DNA of Sauvage. I know it got played out. I overwore it too, like everybody else. I had two bottles, went through it. Now this one here. I wear this one in very much so um, situations where I want to feel elevated, but relaxed and mature. That's what this one is a calling card for. It's a very, very beautiful fragrance that is for the man who thrives for a bold energy take on fragrances. And then it has this commanding presence where when you walk into a space, you show and convey an undeniable strength about you. Gray suit, blue suit, navy, black, any way you wanna wear this, whatever you're into, if you're into security, if you're into IT, if you're into sales, if you're housing, whatever it is, when you wear this one into the one of those meetings, the way that the lavender, amber, licorice, spicy cardamom, spicy cinnamon, and the grapefruit go off in this one, undeniably sexy undeniably attractive and undeniably powerful and full of strength dior sauvage elixir is a great go-to fragrance at a nice price point that very much so smells like some others on the market that are very much so premium price one being from rosa apex it very much so reminds me of my apex i wear this one more than apex i like it more than apex and that is one that i put on my skin as often as i can throughout the fall and winter wear to show my power and strength play when wearing a fragrance. Once again, Dior Sauvage Elixir is a phenomenal scent. 
great staying power, great projection, great longevity, and great sillage. Performance. Dior Sauvage Elixir. Gentlemen, next up on the list, this is a 10-part list. We're getting down to the last couple. Ebe Fume from the House of Tom Ford. If you guys have not smelled this fragrance, I suggest that you do get a whiff of it. Ebe Fume is an epitome of smoky masculinity and modern luxury in a fragrance. This is one that I remember getting on my radar from the late Kevin Samuels. He brought this to my attention in one of his videos. Blind bought it and understood exactly what he was talking about when he talked about the way the scent profile goes off. The opening is a sweet, warm Palo Santo and ebony wood creating a warm, grounding depth that feels both spiritual and powerful. And that's the one thing about this one. If you're into the burning of Palo Santo in the house to create that spiritual aura of cleanliness in the house and get away the bad spirits, this is one that has that Palo Santo down to a T and I love the way that it smells. Even if you have a, a candle selection in your house and you love to scent your house with candles, that groundbreaking Palo Santo wood, if you have the right candle, this is one that has that scent, but just imagine it just that more beautifully elevated because it's a perfume for the body. Powerful, groundbreaking depth comes from this one. Spices and resins that add a rich intrigue, which is exactly what you want in this style of fragrance. This is one when you're going out with your sweater on, your suede vest, your rugged boots, your denim. You're going out, you're feeling good, you're feeling confident. You're not very highly dressed. You can wear this one highly dressed in the way you want to put this at your matches. But this is one for the guy who wears the um, hiking boots, the one who wears the rugged boots, the one who wears the fragrances that are very much so called to that type of men. Outdoorsmen. This is one for you guys. This is one who just basically wants to bring the elevated essence so you're a rich and powerful man and you got a cabin up in the montana mountains this is your type of fragrance fellas the smoky base of this one lingers for hours and hours make it an unforgettable presence on the skin it's perfect for the colder month and it is ultimately an intimate setting style of fragrance so one that can convey from being out in the town out in the city and come back home and sit down with a dinner date basically non-stop compliments from this particular scent. It's a fragrance for a man who values the, just the quiet strength and one who knows how to make a lasting impression. And that is exactly what the hallmark of a Bane Fume from the House of Time Ford is. Beautifully done. This one also has that gorgeous papyrus wood that Immortel has in it. Strength and character. This is, if you want to get Immortel, that's the brighter one. This is the one softer, woodier, more osmanthus, more oak. But similar style fragrances, like I said, one is the light, one is the dark. This one is for the evenings. This is the one for the guy a little bit more mature in his age, a little bit more mature in his actions. But it's a beautiful scent, fellas. Ebay Fume from the House of Tom Ford. Ladies and gentlemen, last on the list, my baby, my blue sapphire from the House of Bodicea, the Victorious. When it comes to blue sapphire, blue sapphire has some, some copycats on the market. We know that, but nothing really sets the tone like blue sapphire does. For me, this type of scent, the beauty in the way that this one is made powerfully, the way that this one is made for its complexity, the way that this one is made for projection, sillage, and ultimately the way it's veiled by a very beautiful tagate flower that many of the copycats do not have. Blue Sapphire is the one fragrance that has the one that commands attention of regal elegance. It is a rose oud combination fragrance that has a lot of saffron, a lot of cardamom. It provides a very exotic, spicy smelling fragrance in the opening and the heart of it just where it turns this heat up because it has that rose oud combination that layers a rich, thick sensuality on all those around you. The woody base then turns this into one of the most sensual yet powerful fragrances on the market. That's why people love it. It feels deep. It feels luxurious. It makes you feel like the scent is the perfect choice for you as a man. This is one that embraces opulence while also exuding undeniable strength. And that's exactly what Blue Sire does for me through fall and winter of every season that I've had it. The blue sapphire that I enjoy is this one here. The supercharged is a little bit too powerful for me, so I don't enjoy wearing that decat that I have. But this one here, the way this one comes off with its power, the way it comes off with its longevity, the oud, the rose, the mandarin, the decate, like I mentioned, the ambery base. Blue sapphire is for the one man that is very much so in his bag, knows what he wants, and one that commands power and showcases prestige. Blue sapphire is a nose killer. Get your nose on this one, fellas. Get yourself a decant. Get yourself a sample of it. And understand what Blue Sapphire by the House of Bodicea Victorious can do for you. 
beautiful scent. Gentlemen, I wanted to bring up an honorable mention, one that I'll just take a note on and tell you guys about because it's a discounted or discounted. It's a discontinued fragrance from the house of Gucci. It wasn't going to go on this list until I sat down and thought about all the fragrances over my journey that I've had that I enjoyed that really convinced me about the way a powerful fragrance, a strengthful fragrance that can convey masculinity and virility really was brought about. And for me, when I was a youngin, Gucci Boron was a beautiful, beautiful, woody, cedarwood, smoky, flinty style of fragrance that just conveyed power and masculinity and strength. And I've had this in my collection for about 20 years now, 15, 20 years, somewhere in that region. One of the very best fragrances when it comes to a smoky, woody, refined gentleman type of fragrance. Very mature in its essence, very mature in its styling. And it very much so is one that helped me start my journey in fragrance collecting as a young man. If you guys ever get your chance to and you find this on eBay or find it somewhere where a friend has one and their dad getting rid of it, find yourself a way to purchase the original Gucci Boron. This is one phenomenal masculine fragrance that I think all you gentlemen should get your nose on. Just even if they have something, I think, I'm sure by now someone has made a fragrance that has some... Um, not a dupe, but you know how we know that some remind us of others. If you find one, Gucci Boron is a signature scent for men in the fall and winter wear seasons when you're trying to convey the sense and command the sense of masculine strength. A very, very beautiful fragrance. Get your nose on it, guys. I just want to do that quick recap on a fragrance that was discontinued. Get your nose on it. Gucci by the House of Gucci. Gentlemen, as always, that was my list for you guys today. This one here is the one that I want to bring out to capture the essence of masculine strength. And I hope that I gave that message to you from bold richness of my first fragrance, which was Morosk Al Andalus. Do not forget that one, guys. That's a very beautiful fragrance to get on your nose um, or get your nose on because it's one that very much so conveys power, strength, and elegance. Then you had the fragrances like... Um, what I had was Chanel Ego East, which is one that has a slightly bent toward the aromatic fulfillment of, an, of a just confident boosting fragrance that does not portray a lot of complexity when it comes to the nose being brought in and inundated with things you are not used to. It's one that very much so conveys a sophistication, elegance, and masculine strength. Then, you know, the undeniable process and presence of these fragrances when they go on the skin and they unveil what you are as a man. You have to pick and choose, but sample these and let, the, let your nose know. Let your nose pick which one is best for you. So whether it's looking for that powerful fragrance, like I stated from Ebane Fumé or the beauty of Blue Sapphire, or even looking for a discontinued gem like Gucci Perone, take note of these fragrances, put them in your collection, and ultimately portray the ultimate um, durability and masculinity of strength and virility in your fragrance. This one here was a fun list for me to put together for you guys. Don't forget, as always, if you found something fun, favorable, something that's in your collection, drop a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as we always do. Continue to help this channel grow and ultimately, you know, become one of the best channels on YouTube. It's what we're striving for here at The Dry Down. So until next time and until next video, you guys have a blessed and wonderful day and I will see you then. Peace.